everyone, today I'm here with six steps on how to make a decision. I'm Janina, a Cologne-based blogger, and I'm obsessed with helping you overcome depression, anxiety, and insecurities. The first step is that there has been a turning point or an emotional threshold. So something happened in your life and you're determined to actually change and to make a decision. So this emotional threshold is very, very important. Make sure to utilize it. It can be something small, it can be something major, but make sure to really feel the emotional pain because often we associate pain with changing habits. So it will be a lot easier to make a decision if you feel pain or anger or fear. So try to utilize the turning point in your life to the fullest. Step number two is equally important. It is to be aware of what a decision is. We humans, we tend to make decisions all the time. We always say, oh, I decided to, I decided to do this and to do that, and we are changing constantly. We are deciding every second, and every second means we're not deciding at all. What a decision is, is that when action follows. So make sure that whatever decision you make, you have the actions following up. Make sure to have them directly after you made the decision. Your decision is not complete if you don't know yet what to do, if you're not willing to do anything. A decision is when actions follow. So be aware of what a decision is. This is an important necessary for a decision to happen. Point number three might be controversial, but according to my personal experiences, it's one of the best thing you can do in making a decision. So be quick, don't overanalyze. You might be super smart, you might be a professional, whatever it is. If you overanalyze, fear will follow. And if fear follows, if the fear to make a decision follows, the possibilities that you will never make that decision will rise so be sure to be quick let's take a look at my life actually when i was 12 years old my grades were a disaster i was very very bad at school and i had to repeat a class and i decided it was just a second really just a second that i never want to be that way again i really wanted it i could feel the energy floating through my body i wasn't thinking about is it possible am i smart enough um do i have the time is it possible will the teachers be nice. I wasn't thinking at all and it made me become the best in only one year. So I became from having only bad grades to become the best in my class and to constantly be the best for years and years to come. So it was a quick decision. It was a childish decision but it was one that was very effective because I wasn't thinking so much. I really wanted it. I said come on Yanina you can do it and I did it. Number four is consider decision-making a muscle. So be aware that decision is like if you go to the gym and you train, you know? People tend to never make decisions and to never train or to over make it. It's like actually with going to the gym. Some people overtrain every muscle and go to the gym every, every single day. And then there will be the day when they are not managing it anymore. Be aware that decisions are like a muscle. You have to train them regularly. You have to repetitively train them, but you cannot overtrain them so don't like make 10 decisions in one second or one minute or one day try one day one decision or one week one decision but make it a true decision so remember point two what a decision really is remember that you've only decided something if you have already taken action number five is actually very important if you are looking for a long-term success if you're not only about making that one decision but you're actually aiming to be successful you won't don't succeed the first time. People might tell you for 10 days and you will lose 10 pounds or um, in one year and you will become a millionaire, whatever it is, it does not work that way. You have to change your attempt. So things do not always um, happen according to plan. So you have to be prepared to change your habits, to change your attempt, to change your approach. This is part of making a decision. If you make a decision, I want to weigh 120 pounds 
in 2018. You can make it happen or you wanna become a millionaire in 10 years, whatever it is that you're determined to do. Be aware that you might have to take different approaches over and over again. So don't think that you can do the same approach. You know, we tend to do that all the time. For example, you wanna lose weight, you tend to do low carb and low carb and low carb, low carb and low carb and low carb. And every time you fail and you binge on chocolate again. So this is not what we are aiming for. We are actually aiming for the goal. So it is more about than a decision. An important point of the decision is that you are willing to change the approach. It can be sometimes very, very hard to keep focused on the goal and not only the road. Be aware that the goal is what matters, not the road you take. So keep flexible in your approach. Number six is actually about happiness. Enjoy the process of making a decision enjoy the process of achieving something of you know being nearer to your goal of doing something good enjoy making decisions and enjoy being on the road your goal might be super super high you might achieve it in 10 years in 20 years in 30 years or you might never achieve it. be aware that the road you take makes you happy that you are happy making those decisions that you are actually feeling the energy i will tell you if you have made a real decision you will feel it you will feel energized and happy and if that's the feeling you're having right now then you've made the right decision if you're feeling depressed and nauseated whatever it is then you're probably just on the wrong road or the wrong goal it is important that you are happy with what you are doing because that is what is setting you for long-term success it's like you want to become fit you want to do sports do something that makes you happy it does not make sense when your best friend is going for a run every day and you hate running and you think oh she has a perfect body i will do it, it won't make you happy do what makes you happy this is a super important part of making a decision and enjoy the process because it might take you a very very long time and you want to be happy during that time right so i hope i was able to help you let me know in the comments if you have changed anything if you're feeling motivated and make sure to subscribe for more <laughs> and make sure to subscribe for more motivation and tips